Welcome to Plan ORE. This is a video on the six point pocket chart, which comes as a written OSCE in the ORE part two examination. However, it is also a part of the ORE part one examination where you can be asked some theoretical questions on the same. So let's begin with the, what it is exactly and what questions can be asked. If you like us, please join our WhatsApp group and uh, the description of the whatsapp group is in the description below uh, you can also contact us through our phone number or our website that is planore.co.uk so if it's given as an oski in the first minute outside you would be told that you have a six point pocket chart and you need to answer a few questions on that and that is the only information which would be given to you. So in that one minute, you need to think about what questions could be asked. And uh, in brief, everything should go through your mind so that when you enter the room, you're not completely blank. When you enter the room, which starts with a five minute timer, you are provided with a six point pocket chart and questions. Now, this can also be asked in the theoretical aspects of ORE Part 1 examination. So, the questions which can be asked in the written OSCE or the theory part of ORE Part 1 can be read the chart and answer the questions. Like, what is the pocket depth, gingival recession and attachment loss and this is your chart. It appears confusing but don't worry, we will explain it in a minute. They can also ask you uh, mark the points in the periodontium A, B, C, D given in the image or what is a pocket depth attachment loss or gingival recession again. So let's begin by understanding the concept. In the diagram you can see a tooth and the point which I'm marking in red is your CEJ. And that is the point where your normal gum rests. But when there is a periodontal or a gingival disease, we all know that there is some kind of gingival recession where the gums actually come down. And as you can see in the figure, the, this point B is that the gingival recession has occurred. And now our gingival margin is at this point. So what is this distance between the CEJ and the gingival margin? It is nothing but our gingival recession. That is the first part. Now let's start with the second part. So we all know that this is the gingival margin. But what is this point at the end? So whenever you are measuring the pocket depth, you actually put the probe inside the pocket which has been created and you measure it till this level. So this distance is actually your pocket depth. And it is actually a distance from your gingival margin to your base of the pocket. So the first is the CEJ to the gingival margin is your gingival recession. And from the gingival margin to the base of the pocket is your pocket depth. Now, if you want to add both of them, that is, if you want to add your uh, gingival recession and your pocket depth, that is from the CEJ right till the base of the pocket, then this entire distance is known as your attachment loss or clinical attachment loss. So this is nothing but gingival recession plus pocket depth. Now, if you see on this side, you see the gums have are actually been enlarged. So here, this is your gingival overgrowth, which occurs in cases of certain anti-epileptic medications or also because of uh, in leukemia or so on, your gums become puffy. So this is also known as the false pocket because it's a pseudo pocket or it is also known as a negative recession. So there are three words. Gingival overgrowth, false pocket or the pseudo pocket and the negative recession. So gingival recession is the distance from the CEJ to the gingival margin. Pocket depth is the distance from the gingival margin to the base of the pocket. And attachment loss is the distance from the CEJ 
to the base of the pocket. So hopefully that makes a clear concept. Now what is the six point chart? It's called as a six point pocket chart because every tooth is evaluated at six points. And what are those six points? Every tooth has two main surfaces that is your buccal and lingual. So every big surface is divided into three parts or they are evaluated at three points each. The distobuccal, the midbuccal and the mesiobuccal. The distolingual, the midlingual and the mesiolingual. So every tooth is evaluated at these six points for pocket depth, for gingival recession and for attachment loss. So this is your six point pocket chart. It's easy to read now. The yellow colored ones are your tooth number. These are your upper teeth and these are your lower teeth. And if I just draw a line here, this separates it completely. B stands for buccal surface and L stands for lingual surface. So you have the gingival recession on the buccal surface and the pocket depth the gingival recession and the pocket depth on the lingual surface. This is for the upper teeth. And the same thing holds for your lower teeth as well, which is divided into buccal and lingual surfaces. And the three numbers here are your six points. So this is your distobuccal, midbuccal, mesiobuccal. That's your gingival recession on the buccal surface. And this is your distolingual, midlingual and mesiolingual. This is the three points on the lingual surface. Similarly, for the pocket depth, you have three points on the buccal surface and three points on the lingual surface. And whatever I just mentioned is of the tooth number one seven. So that is the way how you actually read a six point pocket chart. So that was the main concept of your six point pocket chart and how to read it. So this is the end of the session and how to solve these questions now, which we just saw a little time before, I will be explained in the part two. So you can come and join us in part two. And if you have any questions, you can ask at plan ORE.